Today we're gonna make a boat that actually floats on water. All you need is one piece of paper. This STEM project goes along with the book that I posted earlier today. Be sure to check the description box for that. I'll put a link there. The project is to make a boat that can actually float. So you can use any sheet of paper, regular printer paper size. I just happened to grab purple and blue, white works, whatever. You don't even have to cut it down to a square. You can start exactly how it is. So let's get started. How you do it. Start with your piece of paper, fold it down hamburger style. Give it a nice good crease. Then you're gonna fold it in half one more time. Now when you fold it in half one more time, you are only doing this so that it has a crease for you to see. So to make it easier on the video, I'm gonna make that crease black so you can see the line, but it doesn't matter. You do not need to do that. Okay, you don't need to make the line black. I did it just so you can see what I'm doing easier, okay? Then you're going to take each corner and fold it down so that this edge is along your crease. The next step is to fold the bottom. You should have two parts. Each side needs to fold up so that it's flat with the line that you've created here with the flaps, okay? So you're going to just fold it up and do it on the other side. Next, you're going to fold the corners, these ones, these little triangles down. It doesn't matter if you fold them forward or backwards. You just need to put, keep them together and fold them so that you're making this into one big triangle. The next step is to open it up from the bottom. So you're gonna put your fingers in the bottom, open it up. Now you could leave it as a hat, but we're making a boat, so we're gonna keep going. As you grab from the corners and push, you should be able to fold it into a rhombus. From here, you're gonna take the bottom of your rhombus on one side, fold it up so that the corners touch at the top. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Fold it up so that the corners touch at the top. So, you should have your, the corners that you folded over, the little triangles, they should be in there on each side. What you're gonna do next is you're going to take it from the bottom and open it up into another rhombus. Then, this part gets tricky. You should be able to pull the top apart. If you can't, flip it over to see if you can pull it apart. You might have flipped it upside down by accident. You should be able to pull the top apart into a boat. The first time I tried this, this last step got a little hard and I ended up tearing my paper and starting over. So if your first try doesn't go as planned, just try again. Here's my boat, let's test it out. A way you can challenge this activity is if you have some coins or quarters laying around, you can use them in your boats to see how much weight your boat can hold. I've done it with pennies, today we're gonna do it with quarters. The water is about as deep as my fingers. Doesn't really matter how deep it is, just as long as it's a couple inches of water. I'm going to take my boat, set it in the water. Let's see. Hey, that's not bad. Here, let's try this. Okay, I spread out the bottom a little bit to see if it would float better, and it did. But because it was already wet, it started to tear. So I'm gonna go get my other boat and see how that works. Okay, I've got my second boat. Let's see. Put that in there. Let's see if it can hold some quarters. That's all the quarters I've got. Looks like it can hold 11 and it's still staying pretty strong. 
It's tipping over a little bit, but not too bad. Oh, there it goes. Now it's sinking. STEM project videos where you get to do it along with me, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check the description box for the link to the book that this goes with. Take that AR quiz and get those points. Thanks for visiting from my bookshelf to yours. Thank you.